Hey guys, how you doing? I wanna do one video, I don't even know how I'm gonna name it, but uh, just give an idea to some people because there's a lot of people who actually understand and uh, they see the prices of my knives and like when I'm selling them. I, a lot of people, I, most of the people that actually do know this, uh, you know, custom knives and stuff like that, who know that is involved, know that uh, actually the prices I'm selling my knives for are good because I don't do this to make money. It's, it's my hobby, I love doing it. I just want to get my time worth or my materials worth. Now, to give a, get an idea, like custom knife, uh, let's say of this side, I don't have my knives here, I have one my upstairs, but custom knife like this, you know, like 3-4 inch blade with the G10 handle, 154 cm, custom Kydex sheet, you're talking almost $50 just in the material and the expenses. The material, the tools, the belts, the heat treat, everything you're talking, almost $50 just in the material that cost me. That's uh, could it go lower? Yes, it could if you buy in books, but I don't do that. You know, I'm not the I'm not the company or business that would do that. If you would buy in really big books, you could save a little bit more. If you do really big big batches of knives for a heat read, again you could save. Uh, you could save on time if you would get a water jet cut. But I actually like doing every single knife, you know, by hand and shaping it by hand, and. Uh, it adds up, trust me, it's, it's not cheap, especially with the steel. Uh, 154, I mean, this, the materials are the, the small portion, the much small portion of the price of the knife, I think, and I believe it, and anywhere you look, it's, that's just the fact, you know. But the work is the, work is the main factor. And uh, I actually like doing uh, my custom knives by hand because it makes every single one unique, you know. There are no two same. Even if I try, there are no two same. It's every single one is one of a kind, you know, custom knife, which is pretty cool, I think. You know, you have to also add that to the factor of the of the uniqueness. And uh, I'm gonna give you just some examples of some custom knives I have here, so you get an idea that actually the prices they do seem high, even for me. I have to, I would think twice before buying you know 150 200 dollar knife definitely i'm not a rich guy i have money but i still would think twice if, if i'm gonna buy a 200 dollar knife there are knives that uh, if i want them i really i'm gonna pay it no matter what you know if it's not overpriced if i know that knife is priced what it's worth and it's great knife uh not gonna think about it you know it's done deal but there are knives that like you know i'm just if I don't think that it's worth, you know, $150, of course I'm not gonna buy it. I have to know that that knife is worth it. And um, really good, really good prices. But I'm gonna, you're gonna see the nice examples of it. There are a couple knife makers that their prices are actually really, really great because they put their knives to almost. They're still very, they're full-on custom knives. But uh, because the, how how they run it, they're actually able to put the prices really low. One nice example is Mike Snoddy, great custom knife maker, Snoddy boss knife, you can snag one for $150, you know, great, 154cm steel, really good knife, uh, comes with a Kydex sheet or leather sheet, it depends on which run you, you might get, but again, $150, and you have a paracord rub handle, you don't have a G10 handle. Now, most of the knives you buy, even the custom knives, when you look at the handle, all you get is pretty much, uh, this is just an example, you get the handle that is just slabs of material, you know, wood, micarta, G10, whatever, just round it off, you know, mostly what you get is some contouring for your index finger, sometimes on the butt, but that's about it, you know, that literally, like once you epoxy a handle like that on the knife, that's literally minutes to do such a handle, it's fast, my handles, you've seen them, <laughs> that takes time to do this, trust me, that takes time to sculpt it and then everything is actually hand rounded off all the ridges everything is with the small dremel rounded off and uh, that takes time you know it's not uh, I wanna do knives my way and uh, it all adds up right now another nice example production knife Faulkner great production knife high end high quality Faulkner F1 now you get nice laminated steel Thermorana handle, you know, 
no crazy stuff, very very weak uh, sheets for that. You're gonna pay $110 for this puppy. That's a production made knife that doesn't even have a great sheet and uh, has uh, the basic 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 handle. You know, it's just great knife but other than that it's all simple. $110. So is a $170 custom knife with the custom sculpted G10 handle and a custom Kydex sheet, is it much? Is it too much? I don't think so. Uh, another thing, big, uh, a lot of people compare the prices when we. Uh, a lot of time it was an argument. It was just nice discussion when we talked prices with somebody. Uh, sometimes it's interesting. A lot of people compare and uh, give out the prices of uh, a lot of custom knife makers that use carbon steels. It is a big difference uh, working and making a carbon steel knife and working with the carbon steel to the stainless steel like CPM 154 or 154 CM uh, it is a big difference if you look at some charts uh, actually the stainless steel like C uh, 154 CM are actually twice as hard uh, against abrasives than uh, carbon steels I can actually mm, just an example what I've noticed so far and kneeled 154 cm you know when you grind it before heat treat takes me <laughs> almost the same amount of work and time to grind as already heat treated one uh, 1095 that is a big difference you know I didn't get to work with the 1095 unheat treated yet annealed didn't get to work with that yet but <laughs> you can see the difference I can grind and shape 1095 hardened already with same ease or same hardness, same toughness as a uh, annealed 154 cm. Uh, it's a big difference. It's uh, in the charts. It's almost as twice as easy. You know, half the effort to grind uh, 1095 than to grind 154 cm. And then, of course, if you're talking already heat treated metal, oh, forget about it. It's a, it's it's tough as nails to grind work with hard hard than uh, 154 cm. And. Uh, that's that's not even the high high end steel. It just that's my favorite steel because of that uh, that balance of toughness, ease of ease of sharpness, edge holding, grass resistance. That's my favorite steel, so that's why I picked it. And uh, Kydex sheet, Kydex sheet itself is you know if you're talking knife, let's say like this, just the Kydex sheet itself is thirty dollar value. <laughs> so you have to take that also into consideration. I know a lot of you know about that already because I talk to you guys and uh, we go back and forth and I know a lot of you realize that but there's still a lot of people that actually think that <laughs> I'm making a bang here overpricing or something I could care less if I sell those knives or no I mean I will be happy to keep them I make them I make so many of them because people keep asking that's the only reason if 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 people weren't keep asking I would just make what I want for myself and that's it I would be happy it's not like I'm making money and that actually comes a little bit to the next point I want to touch up touch the base on there are a lot of people lately who just keep like popping out of nowhere and asking me in PMs and emails to give them a shout out there are people who ask me to do a shout out for them to make the kai uh, because they want to make the kydex sheet for business there are people who want me to give them shout out because they want to make custom knives and sell them because they want to make money on it People who I do not know, people I've never even seen their product, people I've never, they, they, they didn't even do anything yet and they already asking for a shout out from, uh, from me to my viewers. Why would I do that? Like seriously, like why would you even ask? <laughs> uh, I don't know, That's isn't it weird? <laughs> like uh, it's really, I gotta say it's annoying. It's nothing but annoying because I've never asked anybody, ever, ever ask anybody for a shout out. Uh, all the shout outs and everything I got was because I sent some gift to somebody, I did the giveaway, I traded something, or somebody bought something of me and they liked it so they did the video. <laughs> I never asked for anything, never. And uh, I expect the same from everybody else. If you want, you know, if we're talking YouTube here and you want to subscribe us, you gotta work, you know, you gotta work your way up. You, nothing's gonna be for, no, it, it sounds weird if I'm gonna say nothing is for free, but uh, in a way that's what it is, you know, you have to, you have to work to achieve something. And uh, I work my way up, I, I, 
it's funny because I still think about myself as a small channel I just started a year ago but the channel is big actually and uh, it gets a lot of views and people think that uh, I don't know just, just because they ask uh, I'm gonna out of nowhere hey check out this guy he he's about to start making custom knives he's gonna be awesome why would I do that <laughs> it's, isn't it ridiculous and uh, but people think that people are actually emailing me and uh, you know keep asking questions and actually wanting me to do these videos and talk about them and uh, it's not one pe person it's a lot of people I just find it amazing there are people who just out of nowhere asking me for free stuff they want they want me to give them stuff and stuff like that I mean I find it amazing <laughs> I, I grew up from like I was I was raised to work for everything I want if I want something I'm gonna work for it I'm gonna get it myself gonna either buy it or you know do something to get it with my own work with my my own hands and uh, I expect the same from everybody else but I guess not all of us were raised that way so <clears throat> that's about it I want to talk about uh, sorry for a long video guys I really appreciate the watching all the comments sorry I cannot get to all of you it's been crazy it's it if you look at the videos you see how the amount of comments I get on the videos I just can't reply to everybody a lot of comments are you know questions that I've already answered so I just like I just can't answer them no more like keep doing the same thing over and over uh, sorry about that but I just can't I don't have that much free time thank you for watching thank you for the support guys hope you enjoy the channel be well take care stay safe and remember don't cut yourself <laughs>